size. Spread it apart, yeah, look at that. All right, then we're gonna go over to our stove top where we're gonna start mixing our warm ingredients. So we got half a cup of chicken broth, a cup of cheddar cheese, oh no, no. and some cream cheese, just a mm. regular brick. I mm, like that. I'm just gonna add some good flavor. Mm -hmm. We got our bacon cooking right here. And we're going to get that melting. All right, now we're going to put our two sides of our loaf on our baking dish. And we're going to cut up some green onion that will go in the cracked chicken. You need fresh green onion. It adds so much flavor. Now that everything is well and combined and started to thicken, we're going to add in some canned shredded chicken breasts. What kind is it? I didn't even see what kind it was. These great values of Walmart chicken. The high quality. Mm -hmm. So you're just chopping up the chicken? Mm-hmm. Getting that good and combined, Ooh. shredding it up. This is called cracked chicken. Cracked chicken. Should we use one of those meat things? Yeah, we could try it. As well. We're gonna turn it off the heat and move over to our bread station. Mm. We're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. We got a cup of cheddar cheese. Some Freshly sliced bacon mm. and our green onion. That looks really good. And this is all going to, are we baking the bread too? Mm -hmm. Are we just combine putting this on, on the bread and then baking it? Yes. So once it's all good and combined, we're going to put it on our sliced bread and then put it in the oven. And it's just going to kind of bake into the bread. Mm -hmm. Are we going to add more cheddar on top? Yeah. Babe, that looks really good. That's why they call it cracked chicken. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. This ain't your mama's chicken. We got our cheddar cheese we're going to add on. Ooh. This is going to be delicious. Delicious. Low fat, low carb. Perfect for your Super Bowl party or mm -hmm. your barbecue. Okay. So good. Now we're just going to put these into the oven. Really good. At 350. Toast that bread, melt that cheese. Look at that. Time. Oh, look at that. That smells wonderful. Wow. And the bread's nice and toasted? Yeah. Look at that. Mmm. That looks really good. Got our Polish potter. We're going to put it on. We're just going to take a little piece off at once. Yeah. Yeah, dang. Look at that. So you can put them together if you want, or you need a little bit. Mm. Look at the right on the Polish pottery. Look at that. Wow. Now here's the test. Good? Oh. Uh. Okay, half a cup of butter in your golden Oreos. Probably did our paint. That's gonna be our, our layer crust. Love it. And right now you're just kind of flattening it out, layering it. Yes. of jello. Mm -hmm. We'll put our boiling water in here. Mm -hmm. Stir it where you, the sugar gets mixed up. Strawberry yogurt. Strawberry yogurt. We'll dump one. Mm -hmm. Probably one and a four. If you... We're using just regular little yeah, cups. Just, yeah, since that's what we had. Ooh, all right. Dump. This is one. Dump that in there. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take 
Cool Whip. Container of Cool Whip. Oh, nice. This is our layer after the crust. Crust, okay. Just half of the layer? Yes, we're gonna use half of it. We'll see how it looks. Okay. Nope, wait a minute. It wouldn't look too good if I I'm gonna fold that in. We're gonna need the whole the whole container, I'll tell you that right now. Why do you say that? Just cons consistency, you don't want it running. So you're just folding the cool whip mm -hmm. into the strawberry mixture. Is there gonna need any more? No, I think that's well you can put some more in there. You're wanting like Okay, whoa, whoa, stop. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Well, that looks really good. Now let's get our cooking mixture out of mm -hmm. the freezer. Like that. And we got our fluff and our crust. Okay, so now we're gonna just, just pour, pour, it. pour fluff over there. Oh, wow. This is our first layer. Hand here. Look at that. It looks really good. I love anything with strawberries. Me too. Can't go wrong with strawberries. Mm -hmm. Okay, smooth it out. Oh, look at them strawberries in there. Looking so good. It's our first layer, we just let it level it out and then... Put it back in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Okay. While you're making your next layer. I love it. All right, this is our next layer. Okay, we've got eight ounce cream cheese here mm -hmm. and a half a cup of butter mixed up. And then you'll need a cup of powdered sugar. Okay. That's half. Mm. Okay, so a cup of powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Mix that up together. Interesting. And then we're going to add some whipped topping too? Yes, and we'll add one and a half cups of whipped topping. That's going to be your second layer right after your strawberry. Then our cup and a half of Cool Whip. All right, so we got our next layer. Okay. I'm just gonna add that to this one. It's very creamy. I like that. Yes, it is. I like the colors too. It just looks cool. Look at that. And this is just cream cheese, powdered sugar, butter. Cool whip. Cool whip. So you're using a spatula today? Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay, and you put it back in the freezer okay. while you're making the third and final layer. Okay. Okay. All right, we got our final layer. Okay, you take the blueberry jello, dump it in there. Mm -hmm. Two thirds cup boiling hot water. It will dissolve. Okay. Get that all mm -hmm. dissolved all in nice there. And mixed. Then we're going to take blueberry yogurt. Just regular old blueberry regular yogurt. Regular old blueberry yogurt. Mm -hmm. We'll take one, usually about six ounces, which is oh, okay. Okay. the recipe calls for. Mm -hmm. Pour that one. Nice. Okay, and then you're gonna mix that up. Okay, okay and then you're gonna take a cup of fresh blueberries. Just some fresh blueberries, mm -hmm. love that. Drop them in there. Okay, then you're gonna take your Cool Whip. Container of Cool Whip, mm -hmm. that's eight ounces. this up. Yes. Hold it kind of in. All right, we're adding our final layer. Okay, we've got our blueberries. Mm -hmm. Take it, put it on the very top. This is, look at them blueberries just funneling out of there. That looks so good. We'll smooth it out where mm -hmm. everybody gets a blueberry. 
And then you just let this kind of settle you for a few hours. put it back in the freezer. Mm -hmm. It looks like you got the multiple layers going on. I like yes. that. So now you put it back. Barely the over the, almost over the edge, but it looks good. We got our dessert. Oh. This is the very berry dessert. It like froze up nice. Yes. Just cut a little piece out. Yeah. Okay. Pretty awesome. This is a nice summer dessert. Yeah. You need two cans of them. What do you got there, Kelly? Uh, cinnamon right. rolls. All right. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Oh, look at that. What you're going to do is cook these for 15 minutes. Love it. Take them out, let them cool for 15 minutes, and then we're and going to... And you say you have OCD. Look how janky this looks. Well, there. Well, I didn't know where she... Yeah, I threw her off. Look at that. Okay. And if y'all are wondering, this is Sister Kelly Hi. and this is Sister Kim. Hello. And niece Caitlin. We get to put it in the oven for All 15 right. minutes at 375. Oh my goodness. Holy <laughs> moly, what is burnt in there? <laughs> I don't know. There was something already getting left. Why did in the you oven. have ham croissants in there? I didn't know they They're were in there. Oh, I'm All so right, sorry. It's okay. Let's put oh, this in. I'm so gonna eat those for lunch. Well, okay, what do we got here? Okay, this is a cream cheese and we're gonna soften it. Soften cream cheese. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix it up. You put some powdered sugar in. And a cup of powdered sugar. Gonna have the Jesus. <laughs> Holy gracious. macaroni, Kim. Slowly add in a cup of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. With the cream cheese mixture. Two hands are always better than one. <laughs> enjoying our time together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got that all nice and folded together. Yes. Now we're going to add some blue and red sprinkles. Celebrate Memorial Day. Yes. Look at that. Now the red's coming out more than the blue. I'm just going to fold that in. Mm-hmm. And we'll top it with some mm -hmm. as well. All right, now we got to make another layer. We get our icing. Okay, so the icing that came in the cinnamon rolls, mm -hmm. going to put it in a bowl with a cup of milk. And then you're going to microwave it for maybe 15 seconds, just for it to get heated so mm -hmm. we can pour it on top of the cinnamon rolls. Okay. What are you doing right now? Just I'm, kind of... I'm kind of whisking it around. Don't you need a whisk to I do, do whisking? I, I really do, but I don't believe I have one right now. So I'm just going to do it this way. Here for when we get out of the microwave. Get this little cover. The icing. Okay. Oh, it's all bubbly. Okay. To set it to the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have. Oh, one. look at that! Can you go? Oh wow, those look good. You're gonna let them cool for about 15 minutes, and then you're gonna cut them. All right, we got them chilled. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so we're just doing half on. Yes. Probably be like rows of three. Yes, sir, I believe so. And then it says like the little pieces in between, mm -hmm. you break them, some others up to do that. Oh, okay. Is that what it says? 
Mm -hmm. You did. Are making, you doubting I'm me? Just making sure the rules are being followed. I don't doubt you, sister. And then you break up pieces to go mm -hmm. in the bottom. To go in like the middle. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to use all of these? What do we do with the other half? So you do layers. You do oh, layers. Okay. Oh, looking good. All right. Okay, we've placed the cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take half of your um, mixture mm -hmm. and just drizzle it over. And this is the icing and the milk mixture. Yes. Just take out all of them. Put Let's a little bit on this one. This one needs a little love. Okay. Well, only half, Kim. You already got two-thirds of it. Now you are going to take... Then we're going to take this mixture? Mm-hmm. And we're going to do a layer of it. Okay. So half of it. Is that right, Taylor? Mm -hmm. Kelly, could you get you a little um, butter knife and you could be spreading it out? Mm-hmm. This is looking really good. And this is a multi-layer cake. Yes. For Memorial Day. Oh, look at the colors just mm -hmm. coming in nicely. Isn't it just amazing? Mm -hmm. Looks so good. So good. We got our first layer done. All right, so we got these Oreo thins. We're gonna crush them up. All right, so we got that crush. Now we're gonna, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna sprinkle half of it onto the uh, did you Did you wash your hands? Yes. Oh. Let me just sprinkle. Mm. Looks yummy. It does look yummy. It's so yummy. Absolutely. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, and then you just repeat down more cinnamon rolls. Oh, okay. I'm gonna push them down so we can make sure we get mm -hmm. all of our layers in. Teamwork. Mm. She's cutting. I know y'all are working hard over here. Wow, it looks so good. It does yeah. look good. Kenny Chesney. Oh. Ooh, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Just getting in them layers. Yeah. Let's go take our icing again. Mm -hmm. Milk and icing. Yes. Mm. Look at that. That looks delicious. Okay, all that's gone. Mm -hmm. Now we need the uh, cream cheese. Put it on there. I'm going to take our cream cheese and powdered sugar mixture. Cool. The remaining of it in Cool yes. Whip. The colors, the red and the blue. Yes. It's so very patriotic. pretty. Yeah. So we got that finished. Now we need to add our Oreos. Okay. Look at that. Oreos. And then we got to get a taste tester in. All right. Since our taste tester is gone. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of Oreos, but you're rolling with it. I'm rolling with it. Okay. We gotta get some more. Okay, then our sprinkles. Some red. Oh, yeah. Now let's switch to blue. Some blue. So oh, how pretty. Fast it. That looks really good. Now we just gotta yes. cut it open and take a bite. Thank you to all our.
Look at that. All right. Taste test. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, who needs a fork? Yep. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Good. So good. Hi, mother. So tasty, so delicious. You can take these to Thanksgiving, a birthday party, kids' birthday party, grandma's birthday party, whatever birthday party you want to, these are delicious. And all they are is just sliced pineapples. So I actually sliced them up, they were circles, but now they're not circles anymore. So they're really tasty. Okay. Do you see that? You see how cute they look? After you do this, you're gonna come over to your, your these things. We're gonna put this in here. Start off with some cake mix. Love this stuff. My Nana always used this stuff. She was like, no way to cooking your own stuff. Next, we got half a cup of oil. Cup of water. And we got three eggs. My Nana always said, crack your eggs over the bowl to make sure you get all the juice in there. Next, we're gonna mix. You see how it's giving a nice, like, creamy color? It's exactly what we want. Don't worry, I'll clean off. Let's look how good those look. So I'm gonna show you all how a faster way to do these too. So you just look like this. Look at that. See, my Nana would be upset because I'm getting it on the edges, but you know, she's not here anymore. So we don't gotta worry about her, but um, let me just top these off. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we got a little left, but we're not worried about it. So take a look at that. We're gonna clean this up and we'll be right back. All right, so we got our stuff cleaned off and now we're gonna head to the oven. I cannot wait to see how these turn out. These are gonna be really good. Look at that. Just set these right in there all nice. Would you look at that? I can grab them. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You know, they're a little crunchy. My Nana liked them soft, but she's not here anymore, so we're not worried about it. But look at that. Now it's time to top them. Poke little holes in here before we do our icing. This is just gonna help the uh, Icing get through there, get all nice and juicy. Why I picked that one up there first. Awesome. Just coat it all nice. Look at that. We just want like a, we just want dab. We don't want anything, we don't want anything too crazy. We don't like a lot of icing. My, icing. my Nana never really liked icing, but she's not here anymore, but we just don't, we want to just try to keep it, keep it light, keep it tight. So I like, this one looks really good. 
gonna scoop it out. Look at that. Look at that. You see that pineapple in there? It's really good.